Hi guys, so we'll be making sausage rolls for today and this is a very popular British snack and it's popular here in New Zealand as well. We will be needing breadcrumbs, I chose whole grain, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, an apple, a carrot, juice of a lemon, onion, nutmeg, two sheets of puff pastry, egg, and a combination of pork and beef mints. So I went ahead and chopped half of the onions and mixed it with the meat. So we're gonna go right ahead and add our shredded apple. So I just used one whole apple for this recipe. And we're gonna go right ahead and shred one whole carrot as well. Next, we're just going to add some nutmeg. I think this flavor just adds a little oomph on this recipe and I just love nutmeg. Now we can add our egg. We're going to be adding a zest of a lemon for some tangy flavor. And then add the juice as well. Now we're going to generously season it with pepper and salt. We're going to go ahead and add a dash of Worcestershire sauce. And of course, a teaspoon of English mustard. And we're going to go right ahead and add half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now we're ready to mix everything together. Let the mixture marinate in the fridge for an hour. Now for our puff pastry, we're just going to cut them in three long strips. Now we're gonna top it with 2 tablespoons of our meat mixture and just trap it just like when you're wrapping a spring roll. I call this technique tuck and roll so we're just gonna tightly tuck the meat in and then we're just gonna roll it gently until where the puff pastry meets the other egg. And just repeat this step. For this recipe, I was able to make 12 yummy sausage rolls. If the puff pastry won't stick together, you can add egg wash at the ends and tuck it in. Now we're just going to line a baking tray with aluminum foil and grease it with oil. 
Now we can put our sausage roll into the tray. Making sure that there's even spaces between them because the pastry will puff up when it's cooked. Now we're going to brush our sausage rolls with egg wash to achieve that golden crusty top. Now we're just going to go ahead and add some ground nutmeg on top of our sausage rolls. And at the last minute, I decided to add some sweet basil as well. Now we're ready to bake the sausage rolls. Bake at 200 degrees Celsius for 18 minutes. Sausage rolls is best served while it's hot and with an onion dip as well. I hope you like this recipe and please subscribe! Here in 17's Adventure!